What's uh, going on there? I got it in my <laughs> eye again. Hi, it's Tuesday, and you're watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday and trying to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. So when I was five years old, my mom started making Christmas cookies with us. It was the kind where you buy sugar cookie dough and then you roll it out and then you cut them into cute little Christmas shapes and then you make frosting and you decorate them and you're super really cute. And then when I was a teenager, my mom decided it wasn't cute anymore and she stopped doing it with me. Which made me very sad because traditions make me feel like there's some sort of safety and stability in this chaotic world that we live in. So I brought it back! So when I was 15, I took my two best friends from high school and we ditched school and we made cookies and did a gift exchange. And we've been doing that every single year since then. It's really Fun. It's my favorite day of the entire year. I'm pretty sure besides Christmas. That's a different type of good cookie party has evolved from being cute little kids making cookies to drunk adults Destroying cookies. It's so fun. So every single year for as long as I can remember We've always used this Pillsbury sugar cookie pre-made dough Never have we ever used a different dough than this until this year this year I decided I would try making my own sugar cookie dough and bringing that to the party as well as this one And that way we can compare and contrast and have them fight each other and see which one wins I got a recipe that claims to be the best sugar cookie dough recipe online I happen to have all the ingredients for making cookies because I'm a Fatty. So let's make this dish. Step one, get a bowl. Hope that it's big enough. Place it here. Step two, put these things in the bowl. One and a half cups of butter, that is three sticks of butter. Three. Softened. Oh, I need to soften these. One sec. Soften your butter. I don't really know how to soften butter, so I'm just gonna put all the butters into the bowl and then put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. 30 seconds? Mm-mm. Do it until you feel it's right. By the way, I just cleaned my microwave for the first time in two years, and it's beautiful. Thank you. I'll take the compliments. Are you softened? Yeah. Yeah, you're softened, kind of. Now that you got your softened butter, we're gonna put two cups of white sugar. Do it. I feel like my bowl isn't gonna be big enough. Oh well. Okay, now we're gonna beat the butter and sugar together until it's smooth. Nice and smooth. James Bond smooth. Are you seeing the new James Bond? That's nice. I love small chat. Hopefully this butter will be smoother than my mixing skills. All right, I'm feeling it. Next, we're gonna add four eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Do it. These eggs say sell by December 15th, and today Today's the 18th, but I think it's okay. I'm feeling it. Now we're gonna attempt to add five cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon salt. I really don't feel like this bowl is ready for this much action, but we're gonna do it! Merry Christmas, bowl! Get ready for presents! You know what, I'm gonna mix in the first two cups of flour first. A little bit at a time. Maybe it'll make it better. Two down, three to go. Between this and the tamales last week, I've determined that I quite possibly might need a bigger mixing bowl. Yeah, but until then, we're just going to adapt. Also, this mixture is too thick for my mixer now. I was like, nah. Mm. I'm mixing the rest with my hands because I'm an adult and I am an adapter. What a party. Gotta say, this dough is not as sweet as the Pillsbury dough. It does not taste good. Which might be a good thing because we tend to eat all the cookie dough before the cookies actually get made sometimes, and so this is probably better for digestion. But, ugh. I hope the cookies taste better than this. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna move on. Now we're gonna put our dough into a freezer bag and let it Netflix and chill until your cookie party. See you when I'm drunk. And I'll see you when I'm drunk too. Hi, we're here in Santa Barbara, the site of the annual cookie party. It's about to happen right back there. People are about to come over. I'm gonna make some drinks because ain't no party if there ain't no drinks. I decided I was gonna make some spiked apple cider because it's my favorite holiday drink. It's seriously goddamn delicious. If you have not tried it, you need to try it. I'm gonna make it with Captain Morgan spiced rum today. You can either make this with brandy or rum. I haven't made it yet with rum, but I hear it's a lot better. Also, it already has spices in it, so I feel like that'll enhance the flavor. And really, I'm just all around turned on it. Get turned, let's do this. Spiced apple cider, here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is heat up some actual apple cider, not apple juice, apple cider. And I know you English folk are always like, cider is already alcoholic. Well, no, it's not. Here in the US of A, our apple cider is meant for children. We have to make it for adults ourselves. I just poured the whole thing in there because it's a party. Okay, I'm heating this up over medium high heat and I'm gonna add whole cloves, whole cinnamon sticks, squeeze half an orange and half a lemon. Do it. 
Okay, so now that that's done simmering, I put it into a different pot, and I'm gonna add two cups of Captain Morgan. Hopefully that's enough, we might need to add more, but I think it'll be enough to get very turned. That looks good. pretty, Mimi. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is Christmas in a cup. Friends are here. Yay. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God, that's really good. That's so good. That's so good. Yeah. You want yeah. one? Now that everyone's got an almost empty cup, we're gonna start rolling our cookies out. We got our tester dough, and we got our Pillsbury dough. First you gotta get some powder, and then you gotta <laughs> flour the bin. Flour the bin. <laughs> okay. And then you roll it out. And then you gotta roll, roll it, out. it out. What happens if you don't have enough flour on that pit? Stick to this. Oh shit! Okay, so Tanya is using the <laughs> homemade dough, and she loves it. And we're using the Pillsbury, so we're gonna compare. This dough is homemade, Tanya. Homemade. Okay, so now we take our cookie cutters. We're still on the rolled part. Don't worry, Jeremiah. I'm still on the dough part. Keep judging, man. Stop judging, Tanya. First rule of cookie party is no judgment. Actually, it's just judge a lot of it. It's just judge all everyone. <laughs> but those are really nice, Tanya. I think you found your dough. It's not that good. I won't eat as much. Good. You're welcome. Okay, once you have all your cookies on a platter like this, then you're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It says 10 minutes. I put it in for nine because I'm still impressed. Everyone's ovens are different. While those are cooking, I'm gonna work on the frosting. This is a really ah! I'm busy. Let's make the frosting. This is a very important part of making having a good cookie party, keeping everybody happy. You're gonna take powdered sugar, pour it into a bowl. Then we're gonna add a little bit of milk, like just a little bit, seriously, a little bit. You go overboard on milk, you're gonna fuck this up. Do not fuck this up. Pour a little bit of milk, like a tablespoon, like two tablespoons. You want it to be like drippy, but not too drippy. Also, you're gonna add a little bit of vanilla. I don't really know how much to add, it's just like a little bit. Do you know what I'm talking about? A little bit, don't fuck this up. My mom's out of bowls, so we have a hodgepodge mixture of different items that maybe will hold liquid. Now it's happening, all of the yep. things. All of the Christmas is being decorated. Yeah, good spot, my brother's here. Okay, taste test. All the cookies are done now. Everyone is saying that the cookie dough I made is not good. There's too much baking powder in it. But let's see if let's see things. I'm truly a neutral party here. Okay. I, don't know. This is what I won't I won't now. tell you. Okay, don't tell me. Okay. That's the first one. No. Tasty? Yeah. Not everyone has to like winners. <laughs> Oh, that's the cookie. I got no that's the better one? one. All right, Pillsbury Dough won, I'm but the first one was tasty <laughs> according to Steve. Just like a Malaga fan. The, what? the first one was still tasty yeah. according to you? Yeah, well, it's, it's, not, bad. it's not bad. It's just the Pillsbury like, Dough was I'm a way better. Pillsbury Dough got on a lot. If you're going to you know, make them, so they got that, magic that Pillsbury Dough. Yeah. They got trans fats, but hey, you can deal with it. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas! Happy Tuesday! What do you mean? Most likely to cry in public. I said me. I said me too. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. How that's so cute. Sad. Yeah, that's a more accurate word.